Well, I just got in from a long day, longer than I hadn't expected this, right? And I started by going down to my PenFed bank down in uh, Wall Street area down there, all the way down to Battery, because I had to get some documentation for, yes, you guessed it, that visa application for a relative's visa there at the South African uh, consulate. Anyway, so uh, that got done, and this I was coming out and I, oh, what happened? Uh, I got a call. I got a call, and it's from the VA. And they said, well, um, uh, you have a 3.30 appointment. I, was, yeah, I, was, it was, it was, I forgot what time it was, 11 o'clock or more, something like that. No, it was like 12. I don't know, whatever time it was. Uh, when I was in the bank, I got this call, and they said, can you come at 1? I stayed there earlier. I said, sure, but I'm traveling right now, you know, because I was taking a bus. And so, you know, when I finished with that, but that somehow they only have an escalator down and escalator up this, in this building, right? And so they were working on one escalator, so they just had the down one going. I don't know why. Um, so I couldn't go out that way. I had to go some weird way. And then I asked somebody, so I know we go there. <laughs> so by the time I got out there, I just missed the, uh, what do you call that, fast bus. You know, one of those, you know, select buses, you know, uptown on First Avenue. Because because I can go straight from, the, from there right up to the VA. Then I... Um, but anyway, I got on the, on, the, on the regular bus, and it took, took a little while. But I was a little anxious, you know what I mean? So I got into the VA, and I stupidly, you know, I went all the way upstairs, and they said, no, you gotta you got to register downstairs, because they ask you all these questions, and then and I said, I go back downstairs. Da, 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 da. I know I'm making this long for you, but don't worry about it. So I got all that. So I got all that done. All right, let me take this thing here. I'm going to take a little break again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to meander again. Let's just say I finally got to my doctor's appointment, meet my new doctor. But uh, I got some uh, this cocoa, Vita Coco pressed coconut water, the original, right? And this one has uh, well, da, 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 da. it doesn't have ingredients. Co uh, coconut water, coconut puree, less than one percent sugar, vitamin C, ascorbic acid, uh, something gum, right? But here's the funny thing. I mean, I mean, this is how how we made it all. And it's, you know, I like the way it looks. It looks more pure than a lot of the other stuff that you get, see? Yeah. It's real coconut water, I guess, you know? Um, let's finish it up. I've been sipping on it all week. But when I went when I went walking in, um, what do you call it? When I went walking yesterday, Prospect Park, a lot of things happened. First of all, when I was walking through, I'm still holding this thing up. From, I'll tell you about that later. Uh... And I went to this T-Mobile store because I had some some issues. But so I went in there. I was the only one coming in. There was three people over in the area, right? And one, the the, the, the girl comes over. I say girl, whatever, woman. You know, Latina woman, right? She comes over. And uh, and immediately, you know, she get, got this like, I don't want to deal with no... There's no customer. I, you know that attitude. I don't want to deal with no customer. So I was looking for something. She's rolling, looking over, whatever have you. You know, not paying attention to... To the customers say okay okay and then i couldn't find then i realized ah, with the phone i was bringing my phone i realized it was in my pocket but her attitude was such i said never mind i deal with it another time and i walked out the store the reason why i tell you that is because one of the perks about being old er and elder is that you know some elders start arguing they raise their blood pressure me there's so many t-mobile stores i said i don't have to deal with this now let me not you know further burden her for working then me get, get me getting all upset because she had a bad attitude, right? So I said, okay, I'll leave it. But see, I got the time. I can do stuff like that. I don't I don't like something, walk away from it. Don't like something, just keep quiet and don't deal with it. You know what I mean? That's another way of dealing with uh, whatever. So I had a good time at the park. You know, good time. Did a ritual to uh, Henry Dumas and all that stuff. stuff. Then on the way out, you know, they had the, you know, they had the, uh, the Jamaicans, Rasta, Jamaica, whatever. They had the thing with the whole, whole coconut where you, where you can cut the coconut, you know, they cut the coconut, the real coconut, like I was drinking when I was in living in Guatemala, you know, and, and that kind of thing. And also, uh, where else? India, same thing, you know, they get the coconut, da, 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 da. Because coconut, when you look at it, it comes from the tree. It's the closest thing to the sun. There's nothing, it doesn't go through the, it, it's the coconut and the sun. So you're getting the closest, everything you get, you get from it, right? So what I'm trying to say is that I can now go down to close to I walk, take my little walk down to Prospect Park, but I forget that much. And get, if I was in this area, I would get real coconut. Drink it out the <laughs> drink it out the coconut, you know, take the thing and eat the meat, eat the coconut meat, 
that's the best thing about being some places on the planet where you can get real stuff. So that's really good. Let me go back to what I was saying. So, um, so, so I, I, I unexpectedly had to take all the tests and, and even a blood test. And I said, well, wait a second. Oh, I, you know, so I had to take a blood test. The reason I'm holding this is because what I do is every other day, I sort of, I take my, um, I take these, uh, uh, is this the one? Yeah, I take um, uh, the vitamin, the, um, what do you call it? What do we call this? The blood thinner thing, the vitamin C, the vitamin A, whatever that, what is this thing here? Blood thinner, chew one tablet by mouth, da 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 da. Aspirin, that's what I meant. Aspirin, because those thin your blood so you won't get those blood clots, whatever have you. Well, it also thins your blood. So I had this on since, I mean, I had to go from 23rd Street all the way here, uh, Brooklyn, you know, let's this call it that. They call it the Flatbush Mall area, whatever. The, the, the Q train to Avenue H. Uh, so it's, you know, like I say, say it's 40 minutes, whatever have you, plus walk from the VA. So this one, then I, then I took this off. Now, a little bit of blood was coming out. And I'm like, what? Oh, I got to coagulate better. I hate, I used to be a lab technician. I'm telling you, right? So I'm as old as thing until it coagulates. Well, let's hold it a little bit. Um, so anyway, back to the point. When I was taking it, when I almost didn't get the blood test because uh, when they called me, it seemed like it was some hour and maybe the lab was closed down or something that, that handles this test. You have to be done. I don't have to be done right away. I don't. That, I guess this particular test is don't you know put in the freezer or something like that. And so it was this again a sister from the Caribbean. She's doing da da da, and she says, she has come back. You know, well you can't do it today. You got to come back in the morning, right? So I said, okay, I'm cooperative. I'm cooperative in the VA. Look, you got to be cooperative in the VA. You know, there's a lot right now. I'm looking at I'm looking at the city. There's a lot of of uh, Caribbean people. You know, people uh, um, we call them Spanish people all over the place, and they got their little cabals, right? But they don't have the same mentality. They don't have the same thing as let's call it ADOS. You know, people have been black people have been here for a while, right? So when I was come going out from the from the bathroom, and wash 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 my hands after the not taking the blood test. So this is no no no, come 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 come. And she took me in. And she said, no, we're going to do the test. I, t I called the lab, and we that person's staying, and da 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 So she took the blood. Now, here's the trick. Here's what I'm trying to say, right? And, oh, she from Georgia, you know, <laughs> right outside of, of uh, you know, Atlanta, you know, because we talk. And that's what I mean. There's a certain thing about black people that have been here that don't, they don't have no, you know, they, 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 they. anyway, the, what she was really saying is that, I, she said, I don't want you to have to come back tomorrow. She had concern for a vet. It wasn't about being black, but she had a concern for it. But these other folks that come, it's just a job, just a job. They have no, they have no, you know, you know, did they serve in the military? I don't know. Did they see their buddies die? I don't know. Did they have, I don't know what their, their, what their deal is. But all I know is some of these people on, in, especially in New York City, I'm not feeling them at all. This is not the New York City I know. This is a New York City full of uh, cabals or whatever. I'm not saying these not decent people or whatever have you. I'm just saying in certain circumstances, when you have to deliver service, you know, that's why they hire, they should hire black people because we empathetic. <laughs> With the, you know, see, I mean, even, even, even to our enemies, we empathetic. I'm not, that's not a problem. We just have to keep on being empathetic. So I had to go off on that. Why? Because I just feel like I got to let it out. You know what I mean? Because I thought it was just a terrible, a terrible thing, you know? And it was happening in the city now. People just looking down. Ah, I don't know. Who knows? I could be wrong. Let's say it's not the majority. Let's hope it's not the majority. Anyway, what else happened? Well, that's it. You know, I had I, I had a thorough. I had, I had to take X-rays and my thumb was that ding, ding, ding. That guy in the X-ray, we had a good time. His his name is Louis. We call him Louis Louis. Oh, but he said, oh, I hear that all the time. Blah blah. blah. So one day he called you Louis. He said, No, I went to Catholic school, and every time I hear Louis, I think about. It. He was great, great. I, I liked him. So so they were all good. Uh, made an appointment for 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 the eye doctor, right? But had to make it months in advance. So hey, man, you know the bureaucracy and this COVID or whatever have you. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe losing staff, whatever have you. But you gotta you 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 gotta do something. You better do it now, you know. So that's it. Uh, tomorrow I had another long day. I, this is a longer day than I thought, you know. So tomorrow I got another long day. I got to go to Jersey. This is the people I ain't seen in decades, <laughs> decades, literally decades, you know, because. As you may or may know, I'll explain it when I see them because because I'll, I'll say it. Well, basically, this channel we're on, doing right now, it's like a, it's like my living memoirs, right? So I, I'm on this thing now. I'm trying to 
get people who knew me back then, and we're going to talk about it back in the day and get and get some historical facts from the ground because I only have I only hang with the downtrodden, you know. So you're not going to get our perspective in academia or when they look at through the newspaper articles that we have with all the crime and when they, you know. That's why this is important. And you should, too, start a YouTube channel. And I don't want to say talk about yourself, but yeah, talk about yourself. Talk about your life. There's some things that happen in your life that may not seem important, but in the scheme of things, way in the future, you know, it's going to be important because when people putting together history, they need to know your story. Okay, this is a super message from me, T, from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.